Welcome to the Plant Trainers Podcast, where we're helping people improve their quality of life through nutrition and fitness. And now, your hosts, nutrition and wellness coaches, international speakers, Adam and Shoshana Chaim. Hey, I'm Adam Chaim. And I'm Shoshana Chaim, and we are Propelled, Propelled by, by plants. plants. Today, we bring to you episode 475, Plant-Based Grilling Tips with us. In this episode of the Plant Trainers Podcast, we talk about healthy plant based grilling tips. Grilling can be fun and delicious and it could also be something that people avoid doing when they become plant-based because we often think of it as the steak or the chicken or the other things that I don't even really want to mention right now but it is really possible to prepare delicious plant-based meals that can be fun and exciting on the grill as well. So we're going to talk about some of those And it today. doesn't have to be difficult. It's very simple, straightforward. There is a bit of prep work, but it can be done on the easy. Enjoy the tips. Enjoy the show. Here we go. Hey, everyone. Now it's more important than ever to stay close and connected to us as we're going to be making some changes here at Plant Trainers. So please head over to planttrainers.com and get our plant-based comfort foods recipe book for free. That's a $14.99 value just by signing up for our newsletter so that you can know what changes are because we want to make sure that we stay in touch. And now for a moment of gratitude. Because we've pre-recorded and preset all of these summer episodes, we would like you to take a moment and think about what you're grateful for. Of course, we're always grateful for you. I got my apron on, I got my spatula in my hand. Let's get grilling. What do we got today? Well, there's lots of great nutrient-rich ingredients that you can use when you are grilling. So vegetables. Hold like, on. Can we just talk about this before we get yeah. into the actual food? Like what about preparing the actual grill? Because a lot of people use these sprays that have lots of chemicals in them. Not the healthiest way to do it. So I prefer not to use those sprays. You have two different methods. Why don't you share them? The onion and the lemon. Mm. So I'll grab a raw onion, I'll put it on the, the end of a long fork, and as the grill heats up, I will roll that onion over the grill to lubricate that grill and make sure that it's ready, but it also gives it some flavor and doesn't allow things to stick. And I could do the same thing with lemon. So it depends what I'm making and depends on how I want to give that subtle flavor, I'll use one or the other. It also depends what we have in the house at the time. True. <laughs> but yeah, either of those can work really, really well. And yeah, we don't like to use those sprays. We like to reduce as much toxicity from our lives as possible. So we also like to put in as much nutrient dense foods as possible so when you're grilling think of a variety right like we, we say eat the rainbow eat the rainbow you could grill the rainbow as well so bell peppers work well zucchinis eggplant mushrooms corn on the cob asparagus these are all things that are packed with vitamins packed with minerals and it could look delicious with the eyes as well and i do find that the barbecuing if you don't overdo it if you don't char everything it actually brings out the colors and brings out the flavors in all of these vegetables as well. And there are a numerous amount of Amazon tools or tools that you could find in, in shops also that help you to grill the veggies cut up already so that they're not falling through the grill too. So that can be really, really helpful. You can get really creative with some of those things. I would just say make sure that you know the materials that are being used and that they're not painted with toxicity that's going to seep into your food too, but it can really be helpful when you're grilling. So alongside those veggies that you're grilling, you can grill things like tofu and make tofu steaks, or you can make your own plant-based burgers. And of course we have recipes on our recipes site, planttrainers.com slash recipes. We'll link to it in the show notes, but there are a lot of plant-based alternatives for those of you who don't make your own burgers or are looking for something similar to meat, but these are plant-based alternatives. So there's lots of burgers out there. There's lots of hot dogs, there's sausages. There's all kinds of different things that you could be putting on the grill other than just the fruits and vegetables. Right. And if you're not going to 
eat those alternatives yourself, but you're having omnivores over, that could be a really great option for them as opposed to grilling the meat for them or something like that. Let them let them enjoy that, but make enough of all the other stuff so that they can enjoy it too. And taking your leftover grilled veggies and cutting them up and adding them into whole grain salads can be really good too, right? Like the next day you could take brown rice or quinoa and cut up those vegetables into it for that actual barbecue. You can just grill extra or steam or whatever you want to to make some nice salad dishes too that have some barbecue flavor in there too. We're just gonna take a little break here because I want to share with you that growth is something that happens for everyone and every business. And we've been going through a lot of personal and professional growth here at Plant Trainers, and we wanna stay connected with you. That's why we're giving away our plant-based comfort food ebook that's worth $14.99 for free at our website at planttrainers.com or by clicking the link in the show notes. Click on that, get on our newsletter because we're gonna be making some serious changes and you need to be aware of what's going on. We look forward to connecting with you there. And now back to the show. We haven't done this in a while, but you can make kebabs on the barbecue. You can. Those are great. You can make kebabs for sure and get creative. You can put tofu, you can mix your tofu with your veggies and and things like that as well. And also using herbs and spices to enhance those flavors. So sometimes you want to spring, like, you know, you could cut up basil and all kinds of things, thyme, oregano. You could use it fresh. You can use the dried versions. You could add it before you grill. You could add it after you grill. So there's definitely some nice flavors that you could bring out and you can marinate things the same way that you would be marinating meat in the past. So marinate some of that tofu, marinate some of those vegetables and just enjoy those flavors. And to go along with your grilling, you could make some great salads and dips. We've talked about guacamole so much in the past (laughs) another great option but uh, there's so many different dips and salads that you can make to accompany your grill and roasted red peppers is one of the first delicious dishes that I remember enjoying that was new for me so grilling those peppers and taking off the skin and adding some spices to it that can be delicious as well one of the things that people don't think about grilling very often is fruit it's true. And people go, what? You can grill fruit. Yeah. I can hear your voices now. One of my faves is is pineapple on the grill. Pineapple with those char marks, heat it up a little bit. Put it right into the too. burger. Yeah, you yeah. could put the pineapple on the burger, but even as a dessert, it's really good. Yeah, watermelon. People don't realize that you could grill watermelon. I mean, you could grill anything. Yeah, and you could grill watermelon and it could be part of your main dish and it could look like... You could make a grilled watermelon salad with mint on top. Really good. Yeah, that's delicious. Um, Peaches can go well on the grill. You could do bananas or if you put some foil under, you could do like a flaming banana kind of thing. So there's lots of great options if you look them up. We don't have on our site, but if you look up... yeah. You just really want to be careful of your temperature that you have in the grill, depending on what you're making. You don't want to have it too hot in there, but you don't want to have it too low and you don't want to burn things too much because you don't want those chars, right? You don't want the, you want the grill marks, but you don't want it to be burnt. So slowly warming up the grill, slowly barbecuing is always going to be amazing. Definitely. And hopefully you're staying safe. Hopefully you have all your eyebrows by the end. Hopefully you haven't gotten any burns. If you do, go back to an episode that we did a few weeks ago on sunburns because a lot of what we talked about can be applied to barbecue burns as well. But stay safe. Keep your kids and pets away from the barbecue. And we will link to this show notes at planttrainers.com slash 475. We'll put some recipes in there that are pretty good for grilling. So enjoy your barbecue and... uh, Have a great day. Bon appetit. Thank you all so much for listening to this edition of the Plant Trainers Podcast. We want to make sure that you subscribe on iTunes, Google Play, iHeartRadio, Stitcher, or any other podcasting platform. We really appreciate the feedback we receive from you. Every time we get a five-star rating or review on iTunes from one of our fans, it really helps other people find us just like you did. Thanks so much to our patrons. To become a patron, visit us at patreon.com slash plant trainers, even supporting 
helping us with one dollar really makes a difference in the quality of the show and don't forget to connect with us on instagram and twitter our handle is at plant trainers like plant trainers on facebook join our newsletter and check out our website at planttrainers.com for awesome recipes a list of our services and of course our latest podcast we encourage you to email your questions to info at planttrainers.com so that we can help you improve your quality of life through nutrition and fitness so we hope we've inspired you today join us again next time and and have have a a healthy healthy day. day where's that too corny it's a little cheesy